I'm Richard Roper, and coming up next, it's Brad Pitt against the zombie apocalypse, and I'm taking Pitt plus the points. It's my review of World War Z right now. Even in a dubious haircut that makes him look like a drag queen in the very early stages of figuring out who he is in this life, Brad Pitt's Jerry is practically superhuman in World War Z. A retired UN investigator, he springs into action when the zombie apocalypse strikes our planet again. There's not a whole lot of explanation for why these zombies are overrunning cities around the world, swarming in huge herds like fast motion ants and turning nearly every human in their path. All we need to know is Jerry is humanity's best hope to figure out the source of this virus. Jerry, what is this? It's the same worldwide. It's the same one doing better than we are. Good enough. There's plenty of tension, measured doses of gore, it's rated PG-13, and some terrific set pieces as Jerry's quest takes him from Korea to Jerusalem to Nova Scotia. Even when he's safely in the air, he might not necessarily be safe. World War Z traffics in a lot of familiar territory, but thanks to the wickedly vibrant source material, which is Max Brooks's 2006 horror novel, some slick and darkly funny directorial choices by Mark Forster, and terrific performances from Pitt and the supporting cast, this is entertaining as hell. I don't want to leave you. I have to go. I'll be back and safe. a memo sent from this installation. Pretty obvious nobody back home bothered to read it. I think these things have a weakness. Every human being we save. Morning! It's one less to fight. It's more of a thriller than a sci-fi bloodbath with a couple of brilliantly constructed sequences. And even when it gets pretty silly or too profound for its own good, Pitt sells it. I give World War Z B+. I'm Richard Roper. You can get all my reviews on Reels and at richardroper.com.